morning guys. I just wanted to show you um, what I'm dealing with currently. Delaney and I were outside talking yesterday about 10 o'clock at night and we heard this hissing sound from inside and then Sunny comes outside and says there's water all over the floor. So um, my first thought was that I left the black tank flush on but I hadn't even done that yet. We were supposed to leave today so I was kind of getting prepped and ready to go. Um, but it turns out we've got this, uh, it was a water line to our outside kitchen had a pinhole leak in it. And the only way to access it is underneath Tegan's bed here, the bottom bunk. So it was this line right here had a pinhole leak right at this corner, right underneath here, underneath the drain. So there's a pinhole leak right at that corner and I tried to put some flex tape on it but that didn't help and it was after 10 so Lowe's and stuff was closed so we just uh, turned off the water and then went over to the bathhouse and stuff to brush our teeth and stuff last night but so it's something that I'm tackling this morning and I'm trying to I wanted to get um, Pex hose and do all shark bite fittings on here because this will just be a continue to be a problem for me I think but they didn't have the right stuff at, at the Lowe's here so I just replaced it with more vinyl hose and the compression fittings that were already on there so hopefully um, that'll work I'm just getting it put back together now and I've got fans running in here and it got this. This is our outside storage bay. It got that all wet too. So I've got a fan running in there and I've got this fan running in here. So just try to dry it out and we're gonna go down. Tulane is gonna run down to the office. It opens at nine and see if we can um, stay here one more night. Luckily we had a night built into our, our plan so it won't be that big of a deal. Hopefully they have um, room for us or it's no big deal if we just stay one more night so I'm just getting put getting that put back together fingers crossed that it that my fittings all stay tight and it doesn't leak and then maybe somewhere down the road I can swap those out for the, the stuff that I like to put on there so I'm gonna get this put back together and um, we'll leak test it and I'll let you guys know cross your fingers well, I've got the water running out there, so this line is under pressure. And it doesn't look like there's any leaks. There's a little kink in there. But that's fine. It's not leaking. And it's not leaking at that other fitting. So I'm going to leave this open, let it air out, and we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, so, first test. We're good so far. Well, it's been a couple hours. We got one more night here. Um, I let this sit. I pushed it in and out. I leak tested it. Um, under pressure, out of pressure, in and out, up and down. So we should be good. I got this all dried out. Um, nothing got wet. We did have an extra bag of dog food here that got a little bit damp but I don't think it got any of the food inside damp so I'm gonna start packing up put all this stuff away get <coughs> excuse me get hitched up so we're ready to go in the morning and uh, we'll call this one good problem solved feels good to have uh, fixed that and accomplish something productive today so we'll probably see you guys on the road tomorrow. Ah, good morning guys. I've been singing and humming on the road again all morning. I'm excited to get on the road. It's been a long time since we've gone anywhere or done anything. I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Um, I'm just getting all our cameras positioned. I got our water bottle filled and in the truck for the kids and mama and I. Got our camera set up there. Tolina's taking a shower, so I haven't unhooked the water or the sewer. But other than that, we are 
Um, pretty much ready to go. I got hooked up last night, got our mat put away and our awning stuff all taken down. So pretty much ready to go. So I'm excited. We'll see you guys on the road. Oh, my put my plumbing fix is still holding together. No more leaks. Um, I ran that kitchen in and out a few times and held tight. So hopefully we're good. See ya. Well guys, we made it. We are at Stone Mountain Park in Stone Mountain, Georgia. Where? Somebody's house. Somebody's house? Yeah, should have drove down there. We saw somebody's house. Um, we just got finished setting up and we were gonna... these campers with the ten doors. Oh, yeah. We saw some weird campers that have... Oh, look at that. It's five, like six doors seven. along the side. Seven and then doors. there's like seven more on the other side. But there's cars near them. We're trying to figure out what they are. We'll go look at them on the way back. But we just got finished setting up. We're taking a little drive to explore the campground area. We're only here for two nights. The whole Stone Mountain Park doesn't open like fully until the end of May. Like May 25th. But we're going to um, see and do as much as we can while we're here. Of course. Mm, excuse me. Thank you for sticking with us. I know we were kind of off the books there for a little bit, but we were we ended, we were at um, our last campground. We were in Milledgeville, Georgia. Oh yeah, that is bizarre. I'll show you what we're looking at. See that one has like five small doors on the back, and then I'll have doors on the front with all around. Custom designed travel unit think. I don't know. But anyway, we're in um, Milledgeville, Georgia at the Sink Mountain Campground. We were there for a whole month. We fig we were looking for some place that was kind of well close to Atlanta because we needed to be to Atlanta so Tolina could fly out. And we wanted just somewhere we could kind of sit tight, have a nice home base while she was gone. Um, it was affordable. It was only $480 for the whole month, which was awesome. And, you know, a place, there wasn't a lot to do around there, which was fine. I mean, that was why we chose that. So we could save, yeah, it's kind of middle of save money. Yeah, really the middle of nowhere. Um, so we just kind of hunkered down, saved some money, got ready for the summer. It's gonna be a busy, busy summer. So, kind of just hunkered down and did that while we were there. So I'm sorry I didn't put much stuff out, but those of you that still are with us, thank you. Oh, well, now we're gonna look at the other side of this unit. So it has one door on this side. And then it looks like a bunk, bunk bed. There's something in the slide out there. That thing's huge. Three axles. Not a lot of windows up there. Custom design, travel unit sink. Weird. Oh, 
weird. I don't get it. Can we go down here? That's private, don't we? Uh, that works. Yeah. This is what K? Is this K? Oh, R. I went down R. I went up O. Yeah, it kind of ends there, so I don't want to go down there for another while. Well, the gates are closed. Well, no, that's, you know, people who are probably workers. They don't want guests coming down there and oh. being nosy. Okay, nosy. Be respectful. Responsible, safe, and kind? Sure. I'll just, you just talk to the camera while I look at this map and drive at the same time, okay? <laughs> well, do you want me to help you? No, no, I got it. Just make sure you don't hit anything, okay? <laughs> like a deer or something. Oh, you're such a smart Alex. Or a pothole. Yeah, watch out for potholes. So we're just gonna drive around, explore this, explore the campground a little bit. Um, thanks for joining us on the road today. Oh, here's another one. Oh, see, this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven doors on that side. Oh, are we gonna go down there? Okay. Oh, here's another one. Oh, that's a marathon. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven doors on that, too. I think this is an in. Entrance, yeah. Yeah, I could not understand what this could be. Unless it's like a... I don't know, but I think that truck pulls it. An inner painter's trailer or something. Go down here. So you can see the other side. I don't think we'll see that other one. Like a like a star or something, and maybe there's like bunks all in there, like a band or something. And then one, two, three, four on the other side of that one. Yeah, unless it's just all bunks in the back, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I'll have to do a little research and see what I can find out on this. Okay, you guys, we're gonna look around a little bit. If I see anything cool, I'll show you better than that. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow when we do uh, some exploring here at Stone Mountain. Until then, take a good one. Bye.